Bam! What up, everybody? We are back unboxing with Buckshot, video number eight. Uh, our last episode, one of our uh, coolest and biggest episodes yet as far as uh, quality of toys. Uh, we've got a really cool uh, stack of boxes here we are going to go through today. Thank you for joining me, and hey, let's just get right into it, all right? Two items in here today. All right. So we are starting with a Star Wars Black Series from The Mandalorian, a Tuscan Raider. It's in amazing condition. And we also have a Black Series Boba Fett. We went through a lot of Boba Fett's in the last several uh, last several episodes, but hey, he is my favorite action figure of all time. So you can't ever have too many Boba Fett's. All right. Oh, this is pretty pretty awesome. So. What we have here is a Super 7 Transformers. This is actually Soundwave, but this is actually a uh, collaboration they did with Def Jam Recordings. So this is uh, really cool. I actually found this thing on eBay. I've never even seen one of these before. And uh, it was actually in an auction and uh, I was lucky enough to win it, but this thing is uh, pretty damn cool. So, yeah. Ah, it's a whole bunch of damn peanuts in this. Ah, and it's gonna be a mess. Ah. Well, we got past that part of it. I know I complain about peanuts, but at least it's packed well. They're just so damn messy. That's why I don't like them. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is uh, definitely a rarity. All right. This is a Star Wars Black Series orange line version of Anakin Skywalker, which this is one of the uh, very, very, very hard ones and very pricey ones to find. This thing is in top-notch condition, and uh, I paid a top-notch price for it, but got it now. I've been wanting this one uh, for a long time and could never find one in the right condition, and here we go. All right. We have a couple of Star Wars Black Series figures. We have a First Order Flame Trooper. This thing is in uh, immaculate condition. And then we also have a Captain Phasma. Really uh, top-notch condition as well. Got another rarity. This is a 
start to a very good unboxing day. This right here is a Star Wars Black Series orange line version of Darth Maul. Once again, this is a super great condition to be uh, this old. Uh, this is one of the more sought after Darth Mauls. A uh, lot more expensive, not easy to find in this uh, in this condition. But uh, Darth Maul is very uh, badass Star Wars villain. And uh, I've been looking for one in that condition for a while. So, bam, we got it. Let's keep it moving. Wow. I think I've broke the curse. I'm, I know you all have seen me several times open this figure and it's always bent to hell, messed up, whatnot. I think I've bought this figure four times and had to send them back and return them. This is a Star Wars Black Series credit collection Mandalorian, which uh, I've been looking for this for a long time in this kind of condition. And finally, finally, got one the, the way it uh, the way it's supposed to be. And I can already tell how this is packaged. This came from Big Bad Toy Store. This is a Star Wars Black Series kit Fisto. The collector's grade come in plastic, so I'm not going to take the plastic off of it. But it's obviously. Perfect, perfect condition. I can already tell by the size of this box what this is probably going to be. And uh, I wasn't expecting a bunch of peanuts. And let's see here. Yes, I was right. This is a really cool uh, rarity. This is a black series, but it is 3.75 inches, not the typical six inch that you see, but this is a 3.75 inch Kylo Ren. It's an immaculate shape. They didn't make many of these in this size, but I do have a Darth Vader one that my homie Amsterdam gave me for Christmas several years ago. And uh, shout out Amsterdam. But uh, when I saw this, I was like, I've got to get this to uh, put right next to it. So. Follow suit. This is a black series. 3.75 inch. Just same as that Kylo Ren. This is an Emperor's Royal Guard, immaculate condition. Uh, in my opinion, I think that is one of the coolest and dopest looking figures Star Wars has ever came out with. But uh, this thing's in awesome shape. I'm glad to be the new proud owner of that. And that will go right next to my Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. This is a Hasbro Pulse box, which makes me a little nervous. Hasbro Pulse sometimes is uh, notorious for not shipping uh, an amazing shape. Oh, okay. This is a Transformers Shattered Glass Grimlock. Just checking out the shape, I guess considering it came from Hasbro. Looks all right. Really cool, cool looking packaging. Grimlock is one of the uh, Dinobots if you're a Transformers fan. 
I've always been a big fan of uh, Grimlock. This is actually a whole different uh, color and feel to how his uh, figure usually looks. Back to Star Wars. Oh, I can already see what this is through the plastic. Condition is amazing. Yes. This is a Star Wars Black Series Orange Line Boba Fett, which I have never owned one of these. It's in amazing condition. Man. I love me some Boba Fett. One of the coolest looking action figures Star Wars has ever made. Okay, got some G.I. Joe action, G.I. Joe classified series. This is the character Outback. It's in uh, perfect condition. Some more entertainment earth here. And you are better off getting a jump on ordering off of entertainment earth because it's much cheaper uh, than obviously trying to find something on eBay. Entertainment Earth basically sells newer toys. But what happens is, uh, you know, once they sell out on Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, etc., then the resellers start selling them on eBay for typically twice the price. right this is a star wars 40 year anniversary stormtrooper return of the jedi this is a wild looking box I swear they've got this thing packaged like it's a damn bomb or something. I don't know what this is, but I guess we're about to find out. He has so much damn duct tape on it. I don't even know where to start. What is this? I am in some deep shit. So, dang. All right. Uh, so, my son, Timothy, told me that he ordered me something. And he said it had his name on it, which all my packages come to me is... Tim, he said he got me something for, uh, was my birthday. Here, I'll go ahead and show it to you all. This is really, really cool. I had no idea what he got me. But it's a Darth Vader helmet Lego set. And I had no idea what he got me, but I just discovered it. So, uh, Timmy, uh, I'm probably not going to edit this out. <laughs> So thank you, awesome uh, birthday present. And uh, I'm sorry that I overlooked this, but thank you. That is super, super cool. All right. Oh, super awesome. All right, we have a Star Wars Black Series Gamorrean Guard. This thing is in pretty, pretty immaculate shape. Much bigger box than the rest. He's a much bigger, much bigger character and he's got some really big, cool weapons. 
All right, let me bring this over here. These are three, four, five, seven different figures that I bought in a lot on eBay. These are very hard figures to find. And these are the uh, carbonized, it's a set of carbonized figures, which the, the box is shiny like hologram and the actual, uh, their actual uh, armor, like, you know, on the actual figure has like a, a sheen to it. But this here is a first order jet trooper. Really, really cool looking figure, which here we have Boba Fett, which uh, two episodes ago, I actually got this, but uh, I didn't have the rest of these figures, so it came with it. So now I just have an extra one, but I don't have the rest of these other figures. Darth Vader. Super cool looking uh, figure and packaging. He's got like a blue tint to him. Here we've got just a regular stormtrooper. That packaging and the figure looks really, really cool. I think this is probably my favorite one. It's a Sith trooper. I love that red shiny look to him. Yeah, these boxes just look awesome. Here, the Mandalorian. Push that up so you can see some of the uh, shine to his armor. This is Second Sister Inquisitor. Pretty, uh, pretty cool looking figure. We've got a couple more left. Okay. Entertainment Earth. Star Wars, the Black Series from Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is the Jedi Cal Kestis. Pretty cool looking packaging. Obviously in amazing mint condition. <clears throat> More peanuts. Oh, wow. All right. This is awesome. All right. This here is a Star Wars Black Series from The Mandalorian. This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. The, the actual body is uh, the figure Paz Vizsla. But they actually did something different. It's actually John Favreau. And uh, he's one of the writers and directors for uh, The Mandalorian and the upcoming Ahsoka show. But check this out. This is pretty cool. Very, uh, very rare character figure it's an amazing condition very hard to find unless you went to san diego and picked this up or uh did it like me and got it on ebay for a lot more money Not a clue what this could be just yet. I've got this sucker wrapped up pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay, I know what this is now. Sometimes I blank out with things that I order and sometimes they take a while to ship them and uh, I forget about it. This is a awesome uh, figure to uh, end our unboxing video today. Not a big fan of saran wrap, but I understand why it's used. It keeps the box inside the package from being uh, scuffed up during shipping. This is awesome. 
this here is actually one of the more rare and harder figures to find. This is a Boba Fett with Han Solo in Carbonite. And uh, this is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive as well. And I will unbox this to show you all what this thing looks like. I need to be very careful with it. I want to keep this thing in immaculate condition. We're going in slow motion here. There we go. Pretty cool inside of the lid. Really uh, awesome looking. You call it spot varnish for the top of the box. And this here is the inside of this. Obviously Boba Fett and Han Solo in frozen carbonite. Cool artwork on the back there. Scene from Empire Strikes Back. Wow, what an unboxing day. Well, I think that wraps up where we are today. Uh, thanks for joining me again for video number eight. And, uh, you know, just like always, uh, as long as you all keep giving me feedback and the views keep going up, we will continue to do these unboxing videos and uh i've had several people message me who don't know but uh if you all notice every one of these videos i'm wearing uh some pretty cool looking stuff this is actually the uh weirdo plasm jersey off of my website which is mobstylemusic.com so all these cool shirts and jerseys that I have been wearing in all these unboxing videos, if there's any of them you like, you can get those on our website. And uh, we got sizes small through 6X. So we got love for the big guys. And uh, But hey, thanks for joining me. And a uh, couple more weeks, we will be back with video number nine. So... You all uh, hold it down until I come back. All right. Peace.